Now, if you happen to be in Kensington Gardens, don't forget to come and see one of my favourite statues, which is the statue of Peter Pan, which is right over here by the pond. It's quite a sad story, actually, because J.M. Barry, who wrote Peter Pan, was inspired by five little boys that he met here in Kensington Gardens in 1900. And I know what you're thinking, but he swore blind that there was no funny business going on or any hanky-panky. But um, the interesting thing about this statue is that, funnily enough, it doesn't officially exist. Trying to get anything done in London is pretty impossible. And uh, when he applied, because he was such a megastar at the time, they gave him a really weird reply, which was, we can't give you permission to have a statue in the park, but if you want to put one there anyway, no one's going to object to it. So in the end they said, you're not allowed to do it, but we don't really mind if you do, sort of. It's obviously a very popular statue, as you can tell. You can see right up his skirt from here as well. J.M. Barry came down here at midnight to unveil it so that in the morning it would appear as a sort of surprise for all the children, as if the fairies had put it there. And you can see why, because it actually does feel a bit like the sort of place where fairies might live, actually. But actually, the story of the brothers is quite sad. One of them threw himself into a river in Oxford and died. Another couple died in the First World War. And I think the last one threw himself under a train. He was horribly depressed and apparently he hated his association with Peter Pan and it's quite sad, really.